Welcome to the whimsical world of the wacky, wobbling walrus. An oddly charming creature with the elegance of Uncle Fester and the voluptuous curves of the Michelin Man. Now, this walrus, he fancies himself quite the looker. He's got this unusual beauty regimen, you see. He'll be munching on a bucket load of clams, eyes glued to an exercise video, convinced that simply by watching he'll magically morph into an Adonis. If only calories burned that way, eh? Now, this walrus, he's a stickler for grooming. He'd blow dry every inch of his blubbery body, even his, let's say, less aromatic areas. And let me tell you, no amount of lavender-scented air freshener can mask that particular fragrance. It's a smell that would make a skunk faint. And those flippers? Oh, those flippers! He'd paint the tips, thinking he's fooling everyone into believing their long, elegant nails. A bit like trying to convince someone a watermelon is a grape, really. It's the thought that counts, I suppose. Now, our walrus friend claims he can swim like an Olympic champ. In reality, his attempts resemble an oversized beach ball bobbing in a jacuzzi. His immense girth causing such a splash, you'd think it's a tsunami. But bless his heart, he keeps trying. He's a bit of a loner, our walrus. Not because he's shy or anything, no, he's just too self-absorbed. His only friends are his reflections in the water. And let me tell you, they're having a hard time keeping up with his antics. And his wardrobe, it's quite the spectacle. He's got this penchant for nightgowns, wears them around the clock, says they let his skin breathe. I reckon it's just because they're the only things that fit. Now, don't be alarmed if you notice his eyes looking in different directions. He's not impersonating a chameleon. He's just cross-eyed. Claims it gives him a panoramic view of life. I suppose one man's visual impairment is another walrus's superpower. Our walrus, he insists he's an exercise junkie. But his idea of a workout is lifting the TV remote. And let me tell you, with his flipper coordination, it's quite a workout indeed. And now for the grand finale. The most hilarious thing about our wacky wobbling walrus, he's decided to start a diet. But his idea of a diet is eating only one bucket of clams at a time instead of two. He calls it portion control. I tell you, if delusion burned calories, he'd be a supermodel by now. So there you have it. The life and times of the wacky wobbling walrus. A creature so absurdly hilarious, you can't help but chuckle. Until next time, keep wobbling.